What is going on everybody and welcome back to Rune Words Reimagined, the show where I give you questionable advice such as putting peanut butter onto your pizza. No, for real though, it's it's pretty good, you should give it a try. So today we're actually going to be talking about the Rune Word Darkness. So this one is kind of interesting because this is another one that on the website has the unimplemented functions just like night. And I haven't seen yet what this is going to create but i'm really really hoping that it's not going to be bugged out just like night was so let's actually go ahead and give this a shot and see what happens for this rune word uh, you need a hand-to-hand -hand weapon which is why i'm going to be putting this into this claw and you're going to need a zod rune an am rune and a vex rune there we go boom now we got darkness and let's take a yep it's bugged too so I'm not exactly sure why this keeps happening. I mean, obviously, so I won't get it wrong this time. It's not a billion. It's a million to strength, a million to uh, vitality. With strength, it increases near dusk, it says. And it says that it increases near dawn for vitality. Unfortunately, guys, I apologize, but I cannot actually test this out for you because I simply have not made my assassin yet. Now, what I'm wondering about this, I'm pretty sure this has to be what's going on is there must be this must be like some kind of percentage thing like maybe there's a supposed to be a point like after the four or something like that because that's the only thing that makes sense to me um, now obviously if this did work that way then that would just be a straight up broken rune word i think we all know this this would make the assassin extremely powerful um, the only issue with that is you would want to only go out around dusk and dawn so that you could take advantage of those affixes right there now going down the line underneath that it gives us indestructible which i personally love i probably should put this onto an ethereal item though so if i'm gonna make this again most likely it would probably have to be put onto like a pair of runic talons that were ethereal or something like that because then that way you can maximize your damage and get more out of the item than you normally would under that we get plus three to assassin skill levels that is a lot even though this does cost a zod and a vex which are very expensive i would definitely definitely put this on to my assassin well i would dual wield this because that's going to give you plus six to your assassin skill levels now the only issue with that is in my opinion mosaic is the most busted item in the entire game that rune word is just way way too powerful when you're using it as a dual wield i would know because in original diablo 2 the last character that i made was a mosaic assassin and those things freaking destroy the mosaic assassin is a powerhouse and is freaking awesome if you've never tried it you should try it because i'm telling you right now you will not have as much fun as you will have in this game as when you are playing as a mosaic assassin to this day i cannot fathom why they actually went out and made that rune word to begin with and sure it makes the martial arts tree viable and that is a tree that was never ever really used i i can't think of one person in my life not one friend that i've ever had while playing diablo 2 that had ever once told me hey man you really need to try playing as a martial arts assassin. Nope, it was always about traps. Lightning sentry, death sentry. You know, going to cows, putting down your death sentry, and watching all the cows. You know, as soon as one pops, all of a sudden they just all start hitting the floor. I used to love that, actually, because it, it was one of those abilities where you hit them with the lightning sentry, you, you put out your death sentry, and as soon as one goes down, you just start hearing moo, 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 moo all the time. And everything is dead. You know, you got to get it going. But as soon as you get it going, you're good to go. And you don't have to do anything else. You know, so I don't know if I would really care about having plus six to assassin skill levels as much as I would care about having that mosaic. But it is still good and it is viable. I mean, you could use this on a trapsin. That would definitely help you out, especially if you dual wield this, because then you're going to have plus six to all your traps. So, I mean, this could make traps in very, even, even better than they are already. Um, this adds 63 to 127 damage, right? So we would be hitting for 87 to 171, which is pretty strong. It really is. I haven't seen too many 
that's really stronger than that. Um, now, obviously, you can have stronger claws, but this one right here is pretty up there. It gets you 7% mana stolen per hit, which you gotta love, especially if you're using your abilities a lot. But again, if you're a Mosaic Assassin dude, you don't even really need that. You know, you just build up your charges, boom, 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 everything's dead. Uh, it gives you 7% to life stolen per hit, which I do like life stolen per hit, especially on an assassin, because you're going to need that life. An assassin character, if you're playing as, well, I don't even want to say that, actually, because it's not like the barbarian, right, guys, where you really need that life leech, because if you're going in there, you know, you're surrounded by enemies and they're just wailing on you, destroying you, you really need to be able to hit them for life and get that back. When it comes to the assassin, I've never really had an issue with that because I always level up as a trap sin and then revert over to the mosaic assassin. And at that point, all you really have to do is survive for about three or four seconds. And then after that, it's all downhill. You know, you love it. So it is good that it's on this though, because if I'm not using this on a mosaic assassin, then obviously I would probably need that life stolen per hit. Especially if I'm out there trying to throw my traps up. But I mean, if you're playing right, all you really need is a couple seconds. You really shouldn't need, be needing to worry about that. Now, this one, it doesn't actually, in the rune word, it doesn't actually give you plus three to Dragonflight. It doesn't give you the plus three to Wake of Inferno. Those are just abilities I found on this runic talon. And I figured that one day I'm going to be playing as an assassin and I want Wake of Inferno and want Dragonflight on there. So I just happened to find those, found them were plus three, perfect rolls on those. I was like, you know, I'm just going to throw it onto this uh, Darkness Rune Word right here. Because I know future me would very much appreciate that. Now, it also gives you all resistances plus 35. Which is effing great. So think about this. If you dual wield this weapon, not only are you going to be getting plus six to assassin skill levels. But you're also going to be getting plus 70 to your all resistances. Which is a lot. Like, that is fan-freaking-tastic. Let me look here real quick. What does my obsession give me? Uh, it gives me all resistances of 66. That's what it rolled as. I think it can go all the way up to 70. But that was the roll on that. This one is like, I, I think, let me double check that for you guys. I'm pretty sure that's a mandatory uh, roll on there. Like, it's, you always get that roll, if I remember correctly. Wow. No, it's not. Yeah, this can roll in between 20 and 40, guys. So you could get a perfect roll on this, and you could have plus 80 to all your resistances if you dual wield this weapon. That is godhood right there. Like, this is overpowered, and if that wasn't good enough, if that wasn't overpowered enough, this also gives you damage reduced by 15%, which has to be the hands-down best affix you can get on any item in this game. It's just straight-up damage reduced by 15%. Or just damage reduced in general. So I don't know if you've ever wondered exactly what damage reduced by really does. But it's really primarily just for physical attacks. It, it's not going to actually reduce the damage of magic attacks. Which I wish it would. And supposedly there's a map. Uh, supposedly there's an affix in the game called magic damage reduced by. But I've never once found that. So maybe I'm crazy. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Or maybe I'm so brilliant that even I don't understand what the hell I'm talking about. But I've really, I've never ever seen that. But I do know that damage reduced by actually refers to physical damage. And I also know it's actually capped at 50%. So if you've ever like wanted to go out and make a build, right? Where you have all of this damage reduced by, just keep that in mind. That the highest you can get for damage reduced by is 50%. Now after that though. We have 95% better chance of getting magic items, which, as anybody who's seen this show more than once would already know, that that is absolutely, by far, my favorite affix in all of Diablo, because I love going out and finding all of this cool stuff, just so I can talk about it, and I can show other people how much I love this freaking game, and why they should love it too. So, all in all, this is a freaking fantastic rune word, Except for the strength and vitality thing, I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I am praying that they fix this, because it doesn't make sense to me. Man, how nuts would it be if uh, they came back in a patch later and they were like, Oh, it actually, it isn't broken. That actually is what it's supposed to be. And you really do get that. Like, man, I'm sorry guys, I really need to test this 
crap out. I have been procrastinating on that. I should probably make a video where I just test that out. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so this is a great rune word. And I say go out and do it if you are an assassin. And you, for some reason, you don't want to be the mosaic assassin. Because between me and you, I think I would probably still just continue to be a mosaic assassin. But this does give you options. And this is overpowered. And this is pretty effing broken. But sometimes it's cool when you find broken items. Because it's fun to be able to go out there and just destroy everything, right? At least I think so. Anyways, that's all for this one. And I should be back shortly with another episode of Rune Words Reimagined. So until then, late.